So I wanted to share with you ways a student could find out the areas that they need to study, prepare for a test, and check on their progress for the semester. So once they log into Math Excel for school, they can click on the study plan. And once in the study plan, we have a couple of things. First, it tells you how many of the mastery points they have earned. Right now, we have 132 mastery objectives for the semester. It also gives some more of the beginning ones they can practice or they can quiz themselves on. But let's go to right here and view the progress first. So we mentioned that 16 out of 132 was the number of objectives currently at. And down below we have this display that shows the progress over the course of the semester. So in this semester we started with chapter 13 and then we've gone back and now we're going through 1, 2, 3 and eventually working our way to 6. And as you master certain objectives the graph fills in on that uh, section. So for example, if we look at section 1.2, there's four mastery objectives. And going through that, I've mastered three out of those four, so I still have one left there. Uh, looking at 1.3, there's two out of five. I still have three remaining I need to master. If we look down at, for example, at section 3.1, it's shaded a little bit differently. I've practiced three of the four sections, but I have not mastered any of them. And the goal is to eventually master all of them within the objective. So this gives an idea for what the students need to work on. Now, the ones with the push pin are also sections or uh, objectives that we've covered, they've practiced or been assessed on, but they did not reach the minimum level for mastering it, and they can go back to work on those. So let's go back and look how they would work on them. So if they go back to study plan, and not so much look at this, but let's just view all chapters. This shows all of the mastery points that they're going to have for this semester. And I can expand by chapter. So for example, if I look at chapter 1, section 1, there's one, master, one mastery objective there. And I've got the little cap, so that means I've done that one. Maybe look at 1.2. I've done three out of those four, so I have this one left and then I would master that entire standard. So then they can select that problem, and this problem is what they can practice, and when they go through and practice a problem, it changes it every time, so it's a little bit different. It'll also help them by showing them how to solve the problem or giving a similar, pro similar problem to that. So merely saying, I don't know how to do that, is not enough. They can get that extra feedback going through it. Now, what I would also recommend as they're doing these is just try the quiz me, and what they can do is go through and take the quiz, let me go back to a different one, we can go through and take a quiz, short quiz, up to five questions typically, where they will be quizzed if they're understanding of it. So, this one, if I took for 1.32, it has three questions and they need to get 80%. If they pass that quiz with an 80% or better, that objective will be checked off and it will be considered that they have learned it. Now, if they got it wrong, they would have to go back and work on some example problems before they're allowed to take the quiz again. And really on those example problems is where they would get the feedback. Now, from this screen, they can also click on show what I need to study. And this will just narrow it down to the things they've already been assessed or had homework problems on that they've struggled with. So like in chapter one, uh, section two, three of those were already gone. I really only have one left there that I need to take care of. So really the goal for the students will be, when they look at the progress, is to eventually fill in all the objectives for the semester, and really each chapter at a time it is critical. So far we've gotten up through chapter two. It would be really good for the students to go back now and work on chapter two to make sure they've cleaned up and have all the objectives covered. Now, they don't have to go through this. There's other ways that they can get to it. If I go back to study plan, it actually lists when I click view all chapters. So first thing they can do is work on homework, quizzes, and tests. And your student may have more of them filled in than I did because we've had various assignments so far on certain sections or chapters that they've completed. And if they've shown that mastery understanding, then that mastery point will already be given to them. What they can also do is the sample tests. And this is where I would recommend to start for uh, going back. So such as chapter 2 would be a good thing. They go back, they do the chapter 2 form. If they get 80% on any given standard, it then checks it off and they're given credit for it on their mastery points. That would be the quickest way to accumulate a lot of mastery points they've already covered.
The other thing they can do is they're going to complete regular homework assignments. And as they do those regular homework assignments, they'll go back and cover the mastery points. So right now it would be really good for them to go through and do chapter two. Chapter one, those practice tests. If they're looking for more, you can even do the probability chapter 13. But as the new chapter starts with chapter three, they're going to have the homework assignment to, to complete. Once they've completed it, it's going to transfer over to their study plan and tell them the weak areas and it will be personalized for what they need to cover. If they understand it all the first time, then they will be caught up and they'll be ready to go on. But the real goal is to have all of those points collected by the chapter before they take the chapter test. So this is a kind of a quick walkthrough. I wanted to give you an idea on what you could be working on. Even though they don't, may not have homework that night that applies to something in class that day, students can continuously work on problems throughout the semester because in the end, when this semester finishes, the goal is that all mastery points will be collected.